everyone, this is Mark and Mr. HurricaneTracker.com bringing you a quick update, a major update from the National Hurricane Center about Hurricane Earl. We were watching quite a bit right now in the Atlantic Sea. As you see, I'm circling all the areas that we're watching right now. We have Hurricane Earl, which is a major concern right now for those people that are already evacuating in a lot of areas, especially in the Ocracoke Island. Right now, Hurricane Earl is continuing to move on north northwest right now. It's a different position. And we have Fiona, Tropical Storm Fiona. We now have Tropical Storm Gaston as well. And right behind Gaston is now a new storm system coming off, which is predicted to become the next hurricane as well. And that's going to be a pretty uh, long ways out. But right now, the main concern, again, is Hurricane Earl. So we'll go ahead and give you the information about what's happening with Hurricane Earl. Hurricane Earl now is back to a Category 4 hurricane, as we all know. This is advisory number 31 Alpha. This is a 2 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time. Max sustained winds are 120 knots or 140 miles per hour. And it's Category 4 hurricane once again. And its minimum central pressure is at 930 millibars. Storm system is location at 28.6 north and 74.4 west. And its movement is north northwest at 16 knots or 18 miles per hour. And right now it looks like it will continue to make that turn on off to the north and continue on to the northwest and will continue to have a major impact not as an impact as on land but will continue to move on up and again will size what the areas of northern carolina so once again they have major evacuations listed for those of you who want to check that out you may want to go to uh mr hurricane tracker.com for more information there is going to be a list of the hurricane evacuations right now we've got ocracoke island is the major um, area that needs to be evacuated. We have Tropical Storm Fiona right behind her own. Right now Tropical Storm Fiona doesn't look like much but it's still considered to be a tropical storm. Right now this is advisory number 10 as 11 p.m. Atlantic Standard Time and its max sustained winds are 50 knots or 60 miles per hour. Its minimum central pressure is a thousand millibars and its location is at 21.8 north and 64.1 west. Movement is northwest at 20 knots or 23 miles per hour. The storm system will continue to move on away from the area and may not pose a threat much to any location at this time. We'll go right behind Tropical Storm Fiona and we find Tropical Storm Gaston, which is our third tropical storm system in the Atlantic. This storm system will continue on as a west movement. This is advisory number three and is uh, as of 11 a.m. Atlantic Standard Time. Its max sustained winds are 35 knots or 40 miles per hour, and its minimum central pressure is 1,005 millibars, and its location is at 13.4 north or 37.7 west. Movement is again west at 10 knots or 12 miles per hour. The storm system is also forecasted to become a hurricane, and you see the information here. Again, I'm posting all the information as far as, far as the path goes and what's going to happen with the storm as of right now. We're looking at another storm system behind Tropical Storm Gaston, which now has a 10 to 20% chance of developing and does look like it will be our next tropical depression. So we'll continue to keep an eye on all these storms for you and give you the up-to-date information on what's happening. Again, the major concern is going to be Hurricane Earl. Once again, MrHurricaneTracker.com will have the latest on the hurricane evacuations in the front page of the website. So if you go to that uh, website, you can check out that information. And once again, we also have a storm system in the Eastern Pacific, which we now have an 80% chance that it will develop into the next tropical depression here along the Eastern Pacific side. The storm system is continuing to stay in the area about 200 miles west southwest of the Manizillo, Mexico area and is pretty much stationary right now and will continue to watch the storm for you as it may have a chance of becoming again the next tropical depression. It is moving slightly west northwest toward though to 5 to 10 miles per hour and will continue on to move but it is right now moving very slow. So once again we'll continue to keep a post on what's happening with Hurricane Earl and the other tropical storms out there. Don't forget to uh, rate, subscribe, and comment. And keep, uh, stay tuned with MrHurricaneTracker.com for the latest. Thank you very much for watching, and have a great day.